But I, that's, after, after Hajj, we was, there, we was at Massey Law and Belize Muhammad. They had Muhammad Ali sitting in the audience and everything. And I'm sitting there, a young man. And the ma'am, you know, he said, uh, conduct a meeting. I said, oh, come on, buddy, man. <laughs> he said, no, you, you just conduct a meeting. Did that a couple of times. And Muhammad Ali was there sleeping. I said, wake up, Ali. I told him to wake up and I lost my witness. And not only that, when we used to, we had a tent called our Dollar Tent that we opened up on 39th in Indiana here in Chicago. That was our first one. They was beating, beating around the bush about that. Me and a group of brothers got together. We set it up. And those Johnny come ladies, they came running down there too later. But we know, we know what went down, what happened. And uh, they met him. Sometimes he'd come down there. And I was, I was, I was telling him, let's go through this alleyway. I didn't want to go in the alley. The man went all the way around and came. He didn't, he didn't want to go in that alley because you know, crash and stuff like that. And um, I remember one day, Sister Shirley said she'd be a witness to the say. <laughs> we was at the house. And the ma'am had a big dinner there, I think, for the dower workers. He had a bit right in the national house. And I was helping serving there. And so the ma'am had told me, he said, don't let nobody come in here in this house until 6 o'clock. I said, yes, sir, brother, the ma'am. And he get one thing. And he come back, and then, then, then here comes up. She said, Shirley, she said, so people, she said, let him come in. <laughs> and I followed her advice. <laughs> Boy, man, I'm coming. He said, I thought I told you six. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all good. No, but I'm just saying, but when he gave you an instruction, that's what he mean. Yes. But uh, uh, it's really wonderful seeing her. I love her. Uh, you know, Sister Shirley. And, uh, you know, I've had... Uh, a lot of beautiful experiences, just, just listening to him. And uh, also, uh, Wallace Muhammad II. Yes, sir. You know, when we, when he was seven, eight years old, he used to go out in the Boy Scouts, and he, ma'am, he'd tell me to go out there with him. He said, I don't want no one to discipline him. But you, I wouldn't, I didn't, I, I never did feel that he had to do that anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying. But you know, when he was out there, this is another story for you. You know, I told you about about, about some sunglasses representing the future being bright. We got a bright future to my scares. The future is bright. But when we was out there on that on this one particular uh, uh, event when on uh, our camp we was out camp in the mountain somewhere. And Wallace he he found a turtle during the while. He kinda of slipped in the creek and found a turtle. And see that, that turtle, I thought about that one, that turtle represents longevity. Long live Muhammad, remember that? <laughs> you know, and, and that's the way I look at uh, uh, this leadership here going to be. I, I, you know, I, he never, he, Wallace Muhammad said, he never asked me to support him. But I already knew what to do because I had been well informed. And the imam had said if I should have a, a, a good son for my lions or child, he said, you should not have no problem supporting him. And he said also this, he said, the one that come after me, he said, he's going to be very much like me. Yes, sir, talk there. I see it. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have no reservation about it anyway, because he make a lot of floating me in with a natural flow. When, 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 uh, when Sister Clara passed, I was right there. I went on the honor guards right there by that car, right. and I was looking at Donald Elijah Muhammad, and I saw tears coming down his eyes. Right. I'm on post there. When, 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 when he passed, I saw the imam right there in the car, same thing, same position, tears in his eyes. Both of them did that, yeah. When his father passed. Yeah. I was there when they brought him from Mercy Hospital, right there on that gate, and, and opened the car up and let him in there in the station where Donald Elijah Muhammad's body was in there. So I saw this. I'm just sharing this with you all. Because Allah has blessed you, Allah has blessed you to be here today. And I'm, see, I, like I say, I always tell them, I'm not here to spook you the hell up. I'm trying to give you some reality. And all these, these, these so-called, these so-called people running around here, uh, uh, you know, jumping up like they want somebody to follow them. Follow them where? The hell? And they act like they know, they don't know nothing. Like they're so heavy. They're heavy with sin. 
And this is taking them down. You know, and 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 and, and, and Wallace Muhammad the second, he ain't never had uh, desired none of this stuff. And kind of was lucky to come into it. But he's here now and we gotta support him. That's mighty man. Yeah. Perfect son. And so we're thankful that we have him with us. And believe me, he's clean. Clean than most of all the other ones around this country. They got truckloads of dirt around. Thank Allah. But see, you got to realize that Allah is with this community. The Imam has said Allah has assigned angels to this community. That's real. And the Imam, I mean, in one of the classes, who's there? One of the sisters, of the classes he had with us. He said, "The sister was saying, brother Imam, you progressing so fast spiritually." And the uh, uh, Imam said, "The angels are clapping. Angels are clapping." Because he was at such a Allah had elevated him, and uh, he was sharing it with us that we can come into that that kind of peace ourselves individually right here in this life. We can come in that by obedience to Allah. Because if you do the right thing, Allah gonna bless you. You know, but uh, so you gotta be aware of that whisper, that whispers evil suggestions to the heart, and then withdraw after this whisper. He's like a vampire. Come and bite you. You don't even know you've been bit. <laughs> and, you, and then you walk around in the days. <laughs> hey, Drac done been at you. You know, so we have we have a lot of that. But inshallah, they too may heal. You know, they, they say Musa, Moses, you say he can make water come out of the rock. And I heard the Oliver Elijah Muhammad comment on that. Good deeds can come out of stony hearted people. If you, 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 you use that, that, that book, the Quran, mm -hmm. the Furqan. Furqan means the criterion to judge between right and wrong. Mm -hmm. And see, that, that Quran is like a staff. You say, Musa, when he said, pick up that staff, he said, Musa, you've got many uses in that staff. You can use that staff to measure things with. You can use that staff to beat down weeds. You can use that staff to support yourself. And if you thought Musa had to turn into a serpent, see, that's the way the truth be biting. Poof! You know what I mean? So, uh, and then, then the truth can also bring good deeds out of stony-hearted people. So, you, so, so that staff, that's the body of knowledge. That's the Quran. The Quran is the staff. And for the kind, that's one of its names, right? It distinguishes between right and wrong. See, another thing, you have to read the Quran and study it. You know, as much as you can. And, and, we, and we got Ramadan coming up soon. The ninth month in the Islamic calendar. Nine is life, right? It take nine months for a child to be born. Ramadan is the ninth month. And if you go through those nine, and then, then, then that revelation of the Quran coming to the world uh, in the ninth month is like, uh, it's, it's like new life for humanity. Mm -hmm. That book has a Quran. And if you fast properly for those 30, 29, 30 days, it brings you back to your natural state. Mm -hmm. What is your natural state? Fitra. Mm -hmm. So if you go through that fast, you know, that'll bring you back into your natural state. Mm -hmm. If you sincerely do it for the praise of Allah, and every year, every Ramadan is better. We, it's coming up July 9th, getting close. So I just wanted you to take that with you so that you can share it wherever you come from with them. Believe me, brothers and sisters, Allah is with us. He's with this community. And we have to show support. And another thing that, that, that straightens us up and gets us right, listen to the man's tape. All that wisdom out there, you know, I'll be listening to the man's tape sometimes, I'll be floating. Allah is my witness. I'm, not, I'm, I'm telling you, brother, because no, no one has it like Imam Muhammad. No one gave it up like him. That's why he is the Mujedid of Mujedids. Mishtah and Mahdi. And the ones that come behind him, they have to look back on what WD did. 